Transformers reviews, tech and the news, whatever else I use as a muse. Hit subscribe, I appreciate the views, influences, interest on YouTube. And what's going on people, this is Influence and I'm back with a review. And I'm always back with a review. Uh, <laughs> but I'm back with a review for Skylinks, Earthrise Skylinks to be exact. War for Cybertron. Here is the instruction manual book slash directions. Um, they're pretty good. Pretty good. Get one of these numbers again, as you always do, but you don't have to cut it out the box as you did before. And this one is Dead Universe. So, and you have the box, which. It's pretty nice. These boxes are nice. Got some artwork. Uh, know what's going on? You got the cone heads. They just announced those. Uh, you got some nice little artwork going on in the back. Some product shots. And you have this picture. Shows some of the uh, other figures. And... Okay, my rocket done hit the gangster lean already. That's one of the issues with the base mode. This is the base mode. We're going to start in base mode, and then I'm going to go to each individual mode, and then the combined mode. Uh, so, you see one of the issues. Um, he doesn't really tab in on the base mode. It's supposed to be tabbed in. Through the back rockets, there's some holes. Oh, not holes. Um, and you know, I just noticed this thing right here. Maybe that's why. Is this missing? Or is it supposed to be like that? Somebody who knows, let me know. Um, that might be a missing piece. Might be somewhere, wherever. I don't know. But I just noticed that. Maybe that's why it's not tabbing in correctly. Um, I could give it a pass if so, but I can't give it a pass for the piece missing. But I don't know whose fault it is. Uh, but yeah, dang. I just realized that. So, that is most likely why it's not staying on there correctly. So you can get it on there like that. It, it, I think it is. I think that piece must be somewhere. I'm going to check the box. Maybe it's in the box. So then you you have these, and the thing the thing, um, it's funny because when I did uh, Scorpionox review, I was talking about how how little blast effects he comes with. This comes with a bunch. Like you have these that you can stack, you can make them do all types of stuff. They all come apart. It's a like a progressive uh, blast effect, so it could be like one big. One big blast, giant blast effect like this. I don't know what that would go on, but then you can take them all apart. And usually you have three of the tips, three of the little ones. That's what I usually use, put them in the rockets in the back. These I don't really use that much, but you have options. Options are always good. I always say options are good. You also have these things and it, it, this is the base mode, so, but I'm going to take them off. This is little blasters. They're pretty nice, though. Uh, they're not hollow at all. They, that's what I like about them. They're very solid, solid piece of, it's not heavy, but it's solid. It's, it's a whole piece of plastic. Like in the past, some of the other lines, they, it might have been hollow underneath and where they would want you to only put it on a certain way but i dig that i dig that it's not a hollow piece of plastic um so yeah let's get this into the two modes so this just is opened up close that get the and the gear out and the gear and the gear and one right there. You can see the underside. And 
voila wait i was about to say the landing gear must have went in voila you have that and now you want to get this together so you just push that in push this in like that this thing folds in like that these fold up and these are the things including this um you have the little pieces where you can hook on a different base i think this has it too mm, not sure where is where is it at uh oh duh yeah yeah i mean that's it right there i'm thinking this is uh, i was thinking it flips up but so you got all the pieces that's playability you can hook them up to the different bases and that's that and then you want to fold this um back down almost felt like i was breaking it that's why i was i was uh kind of hesitant pull this back down it's very tight it feels it sounds weird sounds like you're breaking it get this down like that move these um Yeah. How you can tell which way this goes, it has this notch right there that tabs on it. Well, not really tabs, but goes in there like that. It's like where, where it's supposed to go. So that's how I keep track of and then these should be at the bottom like this or no this is this is the bottom so you want to put I know it look it look funny <laughs> you can just flip it over so you can get your bearings this all works like similarly, similarly, that's another word I can't say. I don't know why, but so it's, it confuses me sometimes because you have these treads up here. Um, I guess that's just for the base mode because base mode you turn upside down. But you're supposed to have it like this and you can tell because these wheels, which is the tail and these wheels, they're supposed to be at the bottom. So then this is another section that clips on it there, really. So you want to bring it down, spin around, and flip this over. I kind of, you got to kind of push it to click. Then around again, you have the hole in the peg, and and there you go. You have the two halves, which is the kind of like the ship. I mean, the carrier. I guess it could be like a tank, and it rolls okay. The treads aren't real. You have wheels here and wheels here that act as guide wheels. So it rolls fine. And this has your landing gear, which I showed. And we can take a look at the at this. Um it's cool. NASA. It has NASA brand. I guess NASA sponsored it. Which is kind of cool that they would let uh Hasbro put um branding and then you have magnificent magnificence um i wonder if that's a real shit but we all know that he that skylinks was conceited and <laughs> he was always uh saying how magnificent he was and his his whatever he did was great so 
I think that's kind of cool. I need to research that. Um, maybe I'll have it in the review. Type it as as I do. Nose cone. Got some nice gold windows. It's really nice. It's nicely painted. It's like a nice toy rocket ship. You got this stuff. You got that that hole that you can fit these in if you want. Kind of like a, I guess if if he's carrying some cargo or something or um, put it in like this. Don't know why you want it like that, but it's your toy, so. Or you got this, you can make it look like he got hit or an explosion. And that's that. This, you don't really have much. You got these pegs on the side. You can put these on either. I usually like putting putting them on here um, when he's in lion mode, just to, or lynx mode, I should say, just to give him a little bit more bulk. I like that. I like the way he looks with those. So with that said, we'll transform these two guys into their various modes, um, solo modes. So he's he's really easy. Just pull them down. You pull this out a little bit, it gives a little range of motion. Then you pull this down um, and that's it. You can just get them wherever you want them. Pull this leg out, pull his foot down. And you got very articulated. I like I like his articulation. And you got this. Do that over here. It comes out of that. It's not a hard tab, so I just it, it usually is just coming out of it. Um, get him right. Then you want to pull down this piece. And flip out his head. Flip it out, and then you can push this up. Close this back. And you have his head. And like I said, I usually add these things to the back legs, extra, uh, Extra, even though it looks like he's gonna hit his <laughs> his front legs, but oh, and don't forget the tail. Then you pull the tail, the tails out, the two tails, and there you go. Has a mouth. Move the head up and down a little bit. I'll just go to articulation on this guy. Let me put him over here for, for a minute. So yeah, articulation, he, his, he's on a ratchet. You actually can get this out if you like really want it to. Uh, doesn't look good, but it doesn't stay as, as good as I would hope after the first time. Like when I first opened it up, it was it was hard to get off. But then now that I already broke that connection, like it's not hard anymore. It'll come off sometimes. But you can get his leg all the way around if you need to do that. This goes all the way. He has tilts, deep tilts. And this is all for every foot. Um, it's the same. It's the same for every foot. I'm not gonna go through every foot. But you have this extra articulation right here, which you leave in if you want. This does fall off the mushroom peg on mine. And it's annoying because it happens often. There's a few spots that it does happen often. Um, so, and then with his head, he gets a little bit of wag, which I, I kind of like. You can go up that far. You can go down like that. Due to, I think it's more due to transformation, but his jaw opens up wide. And then there's this in there. You can either hide it or you can leave it. And you can put 
whatever blast effects you want in there. You can put this big one in there. I'll be spitting a whole bunch of fire. Uh, so that's pretty cool. You also, I believe you can put the blast effects on here if you want to. It just looks better. I wish they had a bunch of these because to me, it just looks better with that one. But it just looks like a, a blast or you can turn it back this way. And then it looks like he has his, like he he's fire. There's not enough of these, so you can always but each one is a different size too, because it stacks. That's kind of, it kind of looks weird. But I didn't realize I still had his ankles. <laughs> I'm like, why is he standing up? Cause his ankles are broke. Bro, this, oh yeah, I forgot. It's like butterfly. You can do that. Um, Very strong, very strong. Yeah, I like his articulation. I like him, period. It's just reminiscent. This is one that I had as a kid, and I just remember Skylinks. It's not electronic. It doesn't move by itself, but it brings back that nostalgic feeling. And that's what I want in my collection, partially. Like I want it to be a good figure too, but I think this is one figure, kind of like Scorponok, that brings me back. I didn't have Scorponok as a kid, but I always liked Scorponok, and just to have an updated version, even if it isn't the normal uh, brand that I collect. Like I'm not a mainline co collector, so to speak. I keep saying it, but I seem to keep buying them. Now for the shuttle, we can get that going. Pop these up pull these wings out to get these wings in like these wings are kind of loose when i opened it and i was trying to just push it in like this and they were still staying loose so you had to put it in like angle it up push it and then pull it down and it stays well though of course it won't stay on camera there you go. You hear that little click, but you angle it up. Then you push it down and it's fine. Like, like you see. Like that one came out, but I was really, and maybe I didn't have it in tight enough even. But, but I was, this fell down before the wings came off. So anyway, the wings up, push it down. This is another one. My wings are actually tight. I know some people's wings aren't tight, but look, comes off the, the mushroom peg every single time. Every single time I manipulate it, it comes off the mushroom peg. So I hate it. And it's just this side. It's just this side. I don't know. Don't know. But angle the wings up like this is the official transformation. Angle the wings up like that. Pull these out and then pull the other wings out. Same over here, angle them up. And this one doesn't do it. This one doesn't come off the uh, mushroom peg. Pull the wings out and go. Then you can even angle it and see if if mine's on the mushroom peg tight, I'm good. I know some people can't get their wings like that. Like I'm straight, they stay, but this mushroom peg is loose. So, so if your wings aren't staying, try to push it on the mushroom peg, that might help. You can pull these legs out. Pull this out. Same over here. Pull these legs out. Push this foot down. And you can even articulate it like this. This, this guy is like really articulated. Um, and you un, undo this. Pull all this out. Put it down. The back. This doesn't stay as as tight either, but if you hold it while you manipulate to get the tail where you want it, then you can leave it. But as soon as you start moving that tail, it'll pop this off. Um, 
Guaranteed this will pop off. Let's see. <laughs> so I just leave it alone. And then you want to grab this head, pull it all the way out. Then you can maneuver it how you want. Split it here. And you got the mouth. Up. And his wing is off once again. Very nerve wracking. Not nerve wracking. Wrong choice, but just annoying. Annoying. And you can figure out how you can get him so he can stand. And there's Sky. <laughs> I guess I I never I never knew what to call them separately. Like I know the links is the links, but is this Sky? Uh, but I know I know they were always one unit. Sky links, both of them, either separated or not. So there you go. You can have that. You can get him to balance if you know what you're doing. But it's a lot of work, so. But he can, he can balance. He can. I had it. Uh, you might have to get these right. There you go. So there he is. He's balanced on just his legs. So you can display him like that if you want, which is is pretty cool. So articulation. Let's go through that real quick. So he has neck bend, like he has, these are all articulated. This one is ratcheted. And then you have his his actual neck on his head. He, his head can go all the way down, up, and they have side to side articulation on all of, all of these. But really the top one is the one that's ratcheted and you can get side to side. These just bend every which way, and then the bottom one is ratcheted up and down. So his mouth opens up that wide. Uh, I don't think you can get it any wider. His wings, as you saw, he will pop off, but he can go all the way up here. You can uh, have it like this. You can have it like this. You can. Whichever way, whichever, whichever, whatever you want to do. This can go down like that. Two points of articulation, including this. And go out like this. So if that's your taste. Legs wise, has ratchets. Go like that. Go out like that. He even gets the elbow bend. This has ratchets as well. They're soft, but they're really tight. Then he has friction toes. And his tail. His tail, you can get this back and forth. You get that all the way down. It folds up. It has uh, one, two, three points of articulation. Four counting that, but that doesn't go that far. But you can get this all the way up, whichever way you want. Uh, that looks weird, so <laughs> let's let's stay away from that. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it. So let's bring Buddy back in, and let's get him popping. So we're gonna combine them. You know the drill, just. Push this in, do that like that. Uh, push this in. I debate whether to leave it out. Sometimes I leave them out, all three tails. Um, I'm not sure which is the real way, but I don't know. Then with this, I'm gonna get this back. Bend this all the way down like that. Bend the feet down. What's upside down? Because of. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. What's upside down? So it goes like this. 
this piece should be on the outside, which is why it wasn't going in and I never didn't notice it. But I don't know why that leg was upside down, probably because I was manipulating it. So now you can see it on this side a little better. Push down, push these feet down, goes in that little cavity. You basically got it done. Got the two done, and his wing fell off, and his whole body fell off. Okay. This ain't really a big bot, it's just bulky. It's hard to get on camera. Get this together. So, what I was saying is, there's a little clamp right there that clamps in here. I know some people have been having trouble getting it in, but it's really, it's not simple, but it's not super hard either. You gotta push this in first, and then up here is this thing, and it latches on. That just on really tight. Um, so, see if I can get this first try. So you like kind of push it on, and then you push this on, and it's on. First try. Sometimes it takes some doing, but and once you got it on, it's it's on. Like there's no way to get it off unless you push this button. Uh, and I think that's really good. They they did a real good job with that. It's just that it's hard to uh, connect correctly the first time. Get these legs right. Yeah, it's just some finicky parts. Um, that's that's what I find. Like it's just. Just a couple finicky parts that uh, that frustrates me, and like I said, I think you're supposed to push the tail in and use this as a tail, but I don't know if I like that. Then this eye. Uh, I usually put here. Well, I usually move it up when it's in this mode because he already, like, he kind of, the wings kind of cover his back legs. So, yeah. Sky Links. I think it looks good. Looks really good. Excuse me for the handheld, but that's the only way. You're going to get a good angle. It's all the same articulation as before. So I got Predator King here, which is somebody he faced off with. And this is not the official. Um, I think this is Wei Jing. Rest in peace. <laughs> if you know, you know. But I I thought it was a oversized, but I, from my understanding... I think it's Wei Zhang or Shishan Bao. I don't know. I don't buy that many KOs, but I had bought a few. And, you know, to each his own. I'm not the not the KO police. Um, obviously, the KO police has been involved with, with Wei Zhang, I believe. But, with that said, like I said, I'm not the KO police, so it's, it's whatever you want to buy. Uh, I'm not the dude that's gonna judge you for it. This is, I, uh, evidently it's not oversized. It's the same size, they just did some. And that's one thing I hate. I don't like buying stuff that tries to pass itself off. I don't like buying KOs, I should say, that try to pass itself off as the exact product. Cause to me, that's that's them trying to steal from like steal profits. So this ain't a KO discussion. So let's get on. Like I said, this this I believe is the exact same size, so you can you can kind of see how they look together. I think they look pretty pretty good. Let me see if I can get him like on his hind legs. I seem to remember 
him being on his hind legs and fighting. I don't know. I can't remember uh all the G1. Yeah, so there's that. He's almost on his legs. He's uh, kind of close. So that comparison. And last but not least, there you have Jetfire next to or Skyfire. Whatever your sensibilities. Whatever you know him as, always like, you know, I always know him as Jetfire. I just always gravitated towards, even though he was only mentioned Jetfire one time, but I believe once. But yeah, so there, there he goes. See that comparison? That's pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to give you my thoughts and then i will transform him into the all together but as the carrier mode just the spatial carrier mode because i didn't really show that um that's pretty cool looking because of the compactness so yeah you'll you'll get to see that if you want to stick around but in the meantime let me just share my thoughts this is a good it brings me feel so take that with a with a grain of salt take it with what I'm looking at the nostalgic feel. It's a great figure, and nostalgic is great. Uh, objectively, it has some issues. This falling off all the time. Um, very finicky. Very uh, annoying. Um, this popping open. Um, this coming out all the time. I don't know if... There's a way to lock it a little better. No, I think it's just this notch. It's a notch here that goes into that peg. Um, yeah, that coming out kind of finicky, uh, kind of weird. I think that's it though. Just the wings. The wings are annoying. They get on my nerves. I wish they were a little tighter. I wish it was a, um, you know, and this side is tight. I, it doesn't feel like it's coming off at all, but this side constantly comes off. And like, I, I don't even have to fool with it. Like I just move it and, it and it comes off no matter what I do. But like I said, once you put it, put it, once you put it where you want it, it's cool. It look great on the shelf. Um, That's it though. That's. I mean, the range of motion could have been more for the neck, but I mean, listen, it's not what you're going to do. So, yeah, let me get it into carrier mode. Call it a day. Just fold this back up. This you just stuff in here like this and then put that you got that together. Reverse everything. There's the wings. Came off again, of course. That's what it does. This can be tricky getting the wing, getting it back uh, without it being off, but it's all right. It works. It works. Together. 
There you go. Carrier mode. Only thing I don't like about carrier mode is these stick out in the back a little too far for me. I wish it could have been a little more or or they should have made them collapse onto uh, themselves. I think that would have been cool. They could have combined or wars the legs to make it a little bit more connected. I think it would have looked better. That's just my opinion though. So yeah, if you like this review, give me a, and as you can see, he's on there. It's not a, it's not a trick. He ain't going nowhere. He's a brick once you get it connected. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and I will get up with you guys in another video. Life ain't no, life ain't no, life ain't no, life ain't no. As long as you alive, you can give another try and take it real high if you want.